everyone, my name is Chelsea and I am both a librarian here at Brock University and a yoga instructor. Thank you for joining me for another library yoga session. Today we will be focusing on sort of bringing some lightness into our day. We're going to find that sense of ease, that sense of happiness and well-being and try to cultivate it for the next little study break of about half an hour or so. So we'll start in a comfortable seated position. This can be on the floor if you prefer to practice on the floor or maybe in a seat in your workspace much as I am right now. If you're seated in a chair, we'll start by sitting up close to the edge of our seat so we can sit up nice and tall, taking our feet directly underneath our knees, taking our shoulders back and sitting in an alert but relaxed posture. If you feel comfortable, you can go ahead and close your eyes or maybe just gently lower your gaze and take a moment to check in noticing how your body feels as it settles into this seated posture, observing any areas of tension or tightness, and maybe making any small movements to get yourself a little more comfortable today. Maybe notice if you're gripping it all through the legs, the arms, Maybe if you're clenching your jaw, just let it go. And then from the body, we'll bring the attention to the breath. Noticing how the breath is moving, if it's fast or slow, if it's deep or shallow. and noticing where you feel the breath the most. Maybe you feel it moving in and out through the nose. Maybe you feel that rise and fall of your breath in your belly or your chest. And then bring your attention from your breath to how your mind is moving. Notice where your thoughts are running off to. Maybe they're a little scattered. Maybe they're a little sluggish. There's not that much going on right now. There's no judgment. Just observe. And notice if there are any emotions attached. From here, we'll take three deep breaths in. We'll breathe in for a count of four and out for a count of six. If you're with me, we'll take a normal breath in and out to prepare. And then we'll breathe in, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, five, six, in, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, five, six, in, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, five, six. And we'll return to normal breathing, just observing how your inhalations, how your breath has responded to that more extended cycle of breath. On your next inhale, we'll roll the shoulders up towards the ears and exhale, roll them back and slowly open the eyes. Nice, we'll go ahead and get moving. We'll start just by scrunching the shoulders up towards the ears. We'll scrunch the arms, tense up the muscles in your arms, scrunch up your fists, tense the muscles in your legs, get everything really, really tight. Take a deep breath in and exhale. We let it all go. Find that sense of calm, relaxing the muscles and maybe feeling that lightness when you let go of that tension in your body. 
We'll do that one more time. We'll squeeze everything in on a big breath in, tensing the arms, the legs, maybe even your abs, scrunch up your face, make your hands into fists, and then on an exhale, you let it all go. Very nice. From here, we'll take the nose up towards the ceiling. And then as we exhale, we'll drop it down, tucking the chin towards the chest, starting to wake up the neck. Inhale, we take it up. And exhale, we take it down. One more time. Trying to move with the breath here. Nice, we'll bring the head back to center and now we'll just take the nose over to one side. Exhale to center. Inhale to the other side. And exhale to center. One more each way. Often we don't move our head in it's full range of motion. We don't move the neck through that full range of motion when we're sitting and working at our desks and our computers for so long. So it's really important to warm things up on, on the way. Now we'll gently start to roll the shoulders up and back. Take a couple of these, working our way down into the body, and then we'll switch directions. Nice gentle movement. See if you can lift the corners of the mouth here. Totally just tricked you all into smiling. We'll take one more and then we'll gently lower the shoulders down. From here we'll start to get a little more expansive. So with a big inhale we're going to reach the arms all the way out and up. We'll interlace the palms together and reach up, lifting up out of the waist, feeling as if your upper body could just up and float away. Take one more deep breath in here. And then exhale, we reach the arms out wide to the side. Try to keep that feeling of liftedness through your torso as you reach your arms really wide. From here, we'll gently just drop one ear towards one shoulder. You'll start to really feel that stretch across the top of your opposite arm, maybe in through your neck. Take a deep breath in here. And exhale with a sigh. We bring it back to center. Now we drop it to the other side. You might feel it a little more on one side compared to the other. Take a nice deep breath in. And with a sigh, we bring it back. Nice. From here with an inhale, we reach up and flip the palms up one more time, really lifting up out of the waist. And exhale again, we reach the arms nice and wide. We're finding that space, that expansiveness. We'll bring the fingertips to the tops of the shoulders now, and we'll start to circle the elbows towards each other, inhaling as we take them up, and exhaling as we circle them around and down, breathing in smooth through the nose, and encouraging a little bit of a smile while we move. The next time you come down, we'll switch the direction. And I have a friend who has referred to this as the funky chicken, so I actively encourage everyone to freestyle and maybe play with it a little bit. You can get a little silly. This is an opportunity to relieve some stress, maybe step away from the super serious nature of your studies today. We'll take one more circle and we'll gently release the arms. You can shake them out a little bit here. You can get all wiggly and silly, whatever feels best. I think sometimes we think yoga is a very serious practice, and it can be, but it's also an opportunity to find that sense of lightness in your being. So that is our focus today, and if that involves some crazy moves and some laughter, all the better. From here, again, we're going to reach the arms all the way up, lift up out of the waist, and exhale, we're bringing the hands to the back of the head now. With an inhale, we're gonna lift the chest, engaging the muscles in the core, opening the elbows nice and wide, and exhale, we're gonna round it back, bringing the elbows towards each other, tucking the chin towards the chest, rounding through the spine. Inhale, we open it up like a flower, opening up to the sun. And exhale, we round it down. One more like that. Inhale, we open it up. And exhale, we round it down. We'll drop the hands towards the legs here and slowly roll our way up one vertebra at a time, rolling the shoulders back before the head lifts. Nice.
relaxed. From here, we're going to take a nice side stretch. So we'll start by taking the left hand to the base of your seat or maybe the floor if you're seated on the floor. With an inhale, take the right arm all the way up towards the sky, lifting up nice and bright. And exhale, we arc over towards the left. We want to keep the chest rotating open here. This whole class is about being open, being bright. And really focus on rooting down through that right hip. It might start to rock up a little bit here. It's important to keep that rooted. If you'd like a little more, you can take your left hand and cross it over to the outside of your right thigh. So you're getting a little deeper into that twist. But if you notice your chest starts to roll forward, you're starting to round through the spine, that's a good sign to ease off a little bit. You don't need to arc quite so far. We're not really interested in achieving any particular shape here. We're interested in finding a particular feeling and that'll look a little different for different people. The look doesn't matter. We'll take one more deep breath in and exhale. We reach on up. Now we'll bring the right forearm to the top of our legs. And with an inhale, peel that left arm open, coming into a seated twist. So this is a similar shape in the upper body if you're familiar with our side angle, revolved side angle. We'll take one more deep breath in and exhale. We'll make our way back up and we'll go ahead and do that on the other side. So this time we'll take that right hand to the seat or to the floor. With an inhale, reach that left arm all the way up, really sitting up nice and tall. And exhale, we arc over towards the right. Now again, notice we want the chest to be opening here, feeling that big expansiveness, rooting down through the left hip, engaging the core a little bit, and then maybe crossing the arm over to the outside of the left thigh. See if you can keep a soft smile on your face. We'll take one more deep breath in and exhale. We come on up. We'll bring the left forearm now to the tops of the legs and inhale, reach that right arm all the way up. Feeling the whole body expand with your inhale and relax on your exhale. One more inhale and exhale. We come on up. Awesome. All right, from here, maybe you want to roll your shoulders a little bit. We've been doing a lot of stretches with the arms. And then if you're seated on the floor, we are going to make our way into a couple of standing postures now. So you can slowly step your way up, make your way to standing. If you're in your chair, we're gonna plant our feet firmly on the floor here. And we're gonna start by lifting up into chair pose. So if you're in a chair, you're going to lean forwards. So you can use your hands if you like. And we're just going to lift ourselves up out of our seat, keeping our knees bent and our knees directly tracking over our ankles, tucking the tailbone slightly under so we're not sticking our bums out here too much. Really getting that energy going down through the legs. If you're coming from standing, you can go ahead and just bend your legs as if you're about to sit in a chair, holding yourself up feeling that strength through your legs and that buoyancy through your upper body. We'll take one more deep breath in. And on the exhale, we're gonna fold all the way forward. So you can keep a nice soft bend in your knees here, really letting go through the back body, maybe shaking the head a little yes and a little no. And then slowly, we'll take a nice deep breath in, feel your back body expand on your inhale. And as you exhale, we'll roll our way all the way up, one vertebra at a time, nice and slow, taking the shoulders back before the head lifts. Nice. We're going to start by coming into mountain pose. So you want your feet about hip distance apart, your toes pointing forwards. 
and think about really pressing your feet down into the ground. That might sound a little silly because naturally, of course, your feet are pressing down into the ground, but imagine you're pushing the ground away with your feet so your legs are engaged. We'll take the shoulders back here, reaching the fingers down towards the floor, leveling out the chin so you're not looking down or up, just straight ahead, and imagining that there's a string lifting up through the top of your head, drawing you upwards. Feeling that energy rising from your feet along the front of your body all the way up to your head and circling down the back of your head, the back of your body, down through your heels. Feeling strong, stable, and light. Allow a trace of a smile onto your face. We'll take a nice deep breath in here and sigh it out. On your next inhale, we're gonna reach the arms all the way up, catch a hold of the left wrist with the right hand, and we'll arc over towards the right side. So we're getting a little deeper into a side stretch here. You're welcome to stay here firmly and evenly rooted down through the feet, or maybe you wanna cross your left toes behind your right foot to get a little deeper into the waist and the side of the body. We'll take a nice deep breath in here and exhale, we'll come on up. We'll circle the arms down and find that nice rooted posture again for one breath lifting up through the crown of the head with an inhale, lifting the corners of the mouth, and exhale. Nice. Inhale, we reach on up. This time, catch a hold of the right wrist, and we'll arc over towards the left. You can stay here, evening out between the feet, noticing if you shifted all your weight to one foot, or maybe stepping those right toes behind your left foot to get a little deeper into the waist and the side of the body. Feeling the body opening, lifting, and growing lighter. We'll take one more inhale, feeling that buoyancy in the breath. And exhale, and come on up, circle the arms down, return to our mountain pose. All right. From here, we're coming into tree pose. So we'll start from our nice mountain pose, shifting the weight into the left foot. We're going to then lift the right foot either to the ankle, the calf, or maybe the thigh of the left leg. We just don't want that foot pressing into the knee because it'll push the knee sideways and knees aren't really meant to bend sideways. If you have your chair handy, you can keep it nearby for some extra balance. This can be a tricky pose to hold. And if you're wearing shoes, if you're in a space where you can take your shoes off, as I have, um, that might also assist you in your balance a little bit. Wherever you are, I'm going to return and put my foot on my calf instead of my thigh today. You want to find that same lifting action through the crown of the head that we found in our mountain pose. Still pushing the ground away with our left foot, taking the shoulders back, bringing the hands to center. Maybe you keep a hand on your chair. Find a spot in front of you that's not moving. It'll help with your balance. And if you feel prepared, you can inhale and reach your arms up, opening up your arms, taking your shoulders down and away from your ears to come into the tree. You want to feel really light and lifted through the torso and the upper body as if it could float away and strong and rooted through that standing leg. Notice your breath. Are you starting to hold your breath? Try to maintain that easy rhythm in and out through the nose. And allow that ease to come onto your face, softening your gaze, 
softening your expression, allowing a bit of a smile. And if you topple over or you start to lose your balance and you're wobbling around, trees fall over in the wind all the time. So I mean, it's a totally natural thing. You can laugh it off, shake it off as I fall over myself. Wherever you are, take one more inhale, lifting up taller and exhale, release it all down. You can shake out the arms and legs and we'll go ahead and do that on the other side. So rooting down through the legs, we start in our mountain pose. Shifting the weight to the right foot, we're gonna bring that left foot either to the ankle, the calf, or maybe the thigh. Also depends what clothing you're wearing today. We're firmly pressing down through that standing leg as we take the shoulders back, maybe bringing the hands to center or holding on to something nearby for a little extra balance. If it would feel good to you, you can go ahead and raise your arms up feeling really lifted and buoyant in the upper body and really stable and grounded through the lower body. And again, noticing where the breath has gone. No matter the challenging posture, the challenging situation, you can always, always, always return to your breath and invite it to return to that easy rhythm, softening your face. Take one more inhale and exhale. We circle it all the way around, shake it out a little bit. And we'll make our way back to our seated posture. So this can be on the floor or on a chair. I'm gonna to return to a chair. And we'll take a moment if you're seated actually uh, you can go ahead and recline all the way down onto the floor. And it'll be a little easier for the next posture. From here, if you're in a chair, or if you're now lying on the floor, we're gonna grab the right knee and hug it in towards the chest, trying to sit up nice and tall if you're in the chair in the process. If you're on the ground, you can just hug that knee in nice and close, extending the other leg out nice and long, you'll get a good hip flexor stretch. And then if it would feel good, you can interlace your hands around your thigh and then maybe extend that leg out nice and long. This will be a very intense hamstring stretch if you're lying flat on the floor. You don't have to straighten your leg all the way. You can keep a good bend in that knee. From here, maybe flex and point your foot a little bit, getting a little bit into the feet and the lower legs. And then we'll go ahead and cross that right ankle across the top of the left leg, sitting up nice and tall, flexing that right foot. We'll go ahead and hinge forwards from the hips. If you're on the floor, you can bend your leg, crossing your right ankle across and just hold the back of your left thigh, drawing it in towards your chest. Take one more inhale here. And exhale, we come on up. And we'll go ahead and do that on the other side. So we'll start by hugging that left knee in nice and close, trying to sit up nice and tall, breathing, noticing how the breath is responding, how your face is responding. Try to keep it soft and easy. And then maybe we interlace the hand around the back of the thigh, maybe straightening that leg however much feels good to you. You can start to point and flex the foot. I find if we're sitting a lot, we kind of forget to move around. You can even roll out the ankle a little bit here. I just started doing it. I can do this for quite some time. Feels pretty good. And then we'll go ahead and cross that left ankle across the top of the right thigh. Sit up nice and tall. And then hinge forward from the hips. So we're not rounding too much through the spine here. We're trying to stay nice and long and you might not come as far forward. So it's totally, totally normal. We'll take a nice deep breath in and exhale. We come on up. If you're seated on the floor, 
Uh, you can go ahead and actually roll up to a bit of a seat. We're just going to come into a forward fold. If you're in a chair, you can just go ahead and extend your legs a little farther up in front of you. I always say use caution if you're in a rolly chair like me. It could roll up from behind you if it's really rolly. But we're just slowly going to soften ourselves down over our legs, relaxing through the upper back, the lower back. And allowing the breath to soften the whole back body. If you're seated on the floor, you can keep a soft bend in your legs and don't strain too much. We're not really pushing to reach for our feet here. Just let your hands rest wherever they come to rest. Take another deep breath in. Feel your back body expand, grow larger. And exhale, feel it all sink in. We'll slowly roll our way up. And if you're seated in a chair, we'll go ahead and just adjust so we can sit up in that nice, alert, but relaxed posture. And if you're on the floor, you're welcome to come into Shavasana, which is the traditional final resting pose in many yoga practices. So you can just lie flat out on the floor, and if it would feel comfortable to you, you can go ahead and close your eyes or maybe softening your gaze. Taking a moment to check in, noticing how your body is feeling, if there are any areas of tension or tightness, anywhere that you're gripping, anywhere you can soften. And then from the body, bringing the attention to the breath. Noticing how it's moving, if it's fast or slow, deep or shallow. And noticing where you feel it the most, maybe in the nose or rising in the belly or the chest, maybe even into the back ribs. From your breath, bring your attention to how your mind is moving, where your thoughts are running off to, and what feelings might be attached to them. Slowly, we'll bring our attention back to the breath. And we'll take one really deep breath in together and let it out with a sigh. We'll take a nice deep breath in. And sigh it out. Observing how the body, the breath and the mind are all feeling now compared to how they felt at the very beginning. On one more collective inhale, we'll take our hands to center. And exhale, gently bend our heads forward in gratitude for this time we've spent together today. Whenever you feel ready, you can go ahead and open your eyes. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope to see you next time.